In this week's video, I'm heading to Lyme Regis on the Dorset Devon border. This beautiful little seaside town is known for its fossils found in cliffs and beautiful beach on the Heritage or Jurassic Coast, which is a World Heritage site. It's just 25 miles west of Dorchester and just to the east of Exeter and I am going to show you all the wonderful things that I got up to on my week in Lyme Regis. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog today. Well, not today, for the next four days, me and my mum, say hi mum. Hello. <laughs> are in Lyme Regis, the Jurassic Coast here in Dorset. So I'm gonna take you around with us, show you what we get up to, um, and hopefully have a wonderful time. So, if that's what you're here for, keep watching. And remember to hit the subscribe button if you're new here. I make travel content when I can travel and fashion content when I can't travel. Got the train down from London at like 11 ish this morning. Um, the train takes about three hours, and then from the train station, we came to Axminster train station. From the train station, we got a bus, the X51, which took like 15 minutes to get to our um BB that we're staying in um, for the next four nights. And then from can I lean on that? Yep, yeah, from here, we're like a I think I just looked it up like a 15. No. 10 minute ish walk to the beach. So we arrived, took a nap um, because I was just exhausted. I think my body was like, oh my God, you've left London and the exhaustingness that is London and your social life at the moment and just let, was like, relax. So I fell asleep for like an hour or so and it's like half past five now and we're gonna go out and take a look at the sea, maybe get some fish and chips for dinner, um, but just look around and see see the ocean that's my main thing see the sea um is the main thing i want to do and have something to eat but we are thinking fish and chips aren't we mum yes we are so yeah that's the plan you're coming with me oh it's so pretty sorry but i'm just no you can tell me so there's a, down there there is a water mill that we will go and see at some point but we're going for food now and you were just about to tell me a fact about it that's why i got the camera out <laughs> they still make um flour there they still make flour there. There you go. That's your, that's your fact about it. We've made it to the beach, but I think it's 100% far too windy for you to hear me. So, um, I don't know, music and uh, a beach montage, I think. because um, we've had a mare. Um, we managed to find somewhere um, in an hour, uh, just a pizza place, but you can obviously just get the fish and chips and sit on the beach, but we both really fancied like a sit down dinner. Um, so we found a pizza place and they've got a table in an hour. So we are just sitting on the beach and waiting for our table. I've got a, a like a pale ale, but like from the area from this place of good days here but um it's just on the beach i'm gonna i'll show you around in a sec um so yeah i got a half pint but quite, quite a generous half pint i must say um and yeah so we're just sitting on the beach waiting for our dinner and we've booked a place called tom's which looks really good i think it's a fish restaurant but they didn't have anything for dinner tomorrow but they did have lunch so we booked lunch but um like a late lunch so we booked it at 2.45 and she said as long as we order before three that's when they, the kitchens close then we can stay for like an hour or so and call it like a late late lunch early dinner and then we can just get 
chips or something for dinner in the evening so that's nice we've all kind of sorted our day tomorrow because we're going to come it's not meant to be raining in the morning so we are going to put our swimming cozies on and try and come down to the beach so that'll be nice and then got that dinner booked uh lunch like late lunch booked i'm excited for food i thought you didn't like it <laughs> i don't <laughs> so bright um hi guys welcome to day two of the vlog um we are gonna go on a uh, walk to the fossil the fossil beach today which is really exciting so obviously the jurassic coast is where a whole bunch of fossils were found mum am i right yes. okay <laughs> it wasn't like there's no like other history like it was the first place the fossils were found or anything it just a lot of fossils were found here okay three big ones okay a lot of fossils were found here three big ones and you can still find kind of fossils and um stuff like that on the beach like to this day the sea washes them all in so there's a part of the beach which is especially good for going to look at these and that is where we're going today it's about half an hour and my camera's dying so i might sort to my phone now but come along with me we found it i don't know if you can hear me but ever just found fossils later in the day now um if you didn't gather from all that mismatched footage my camera did die um but i did get some footage of what we got up to when it did die so what we did today was obviously i think i managed to get some pretty good footage of the fossils so we went to if you walk all, all the way along monmouth beach you reach the what are some of those things called animites animites Ammonites, Ammonites beach and you can just it's like all covered in stones and you must go during low tide which today was around 11 is low tide at the same time every day no brilliant okay today it was 11 but please google it when you're here what time low tide is because that's when you need to go and you can see all you have to search for them and it's a bit wobbly wear appropriate footwear and a backpack i'd say um <laughs> And you can see all these cool fossils all along the beach. If you find a small one, you are allowed to take it home as well. Mum did Google that. Um, and then we came back and lay on the beach. I'm going to insert a picture here of um, my sunburn because it's quite comical. Um, oh, and we also walked along the cob which is basically like a big strip i think i'm going to show you it again on friday i was a bit too nervy to walk along it but i think that's because i felt wobbly from the um fossil beach um but it's basically a big strip that was um lime ridges first defense against the storms and the waves so trying to protect the beach um and you can walk along it as well so mum also took some videos of that so hopefully they'll be overlaid here and then we went for a lovely dinner um lunch like late lunch at a place called tim's which i'm also going to insert some pictures of while i'm talking about it as well and we just had catch of the day and it was actually really delicious and a really nice restaurant came home took a nap we're now going to venture out for sunset but it is england v denmark right now so i'm hoping it's going to be dead down there or it could be beach rowdy with england fans We'll see what happens when we get down there. Two minutes of talking, I think that's just enough. I'll take you with me down there. So we've been looking over there for the sunset this whole time. Actually over there, kind of behind us, where the sky looks like it's on fire. Oh, it does look lovely, but like because of all the hills and stuff, you won't be able to see it that properly. And it's also quite cloudy. So, but because of the football, literally the whole beach to ourselves, except maybe one or two people, there is nobody here. Um, 
This is probably what it's like during the winter, right? Yeah. Like probably all these restaurants are like hustling and bustling on a normal day, but actually got the full thing to ourselves. The trees are lighting the up. The, what do you mean the trees are lighting up? People are walking up there. Yeah, we should walk up there. Come on, let's go then before it gets dark. Are we going to have to come down in the dark? No, I don't think it'd be dark, Helen. I think it'd be lit up. The street lamps? What? Okay, so we're going up to the sculpture garden because apparently all the trees light up and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, I'll flip the camera around in a sec but all the trees have got little tiny coloured lights in, it looks really lovely I'll try and flip you around but don't know if you'll be able to see So all the lights and the trees I'm not actually sure what this is though, are you sure what this is? What? what? What is this? It's a garden, it's land, land and gardens. And you can go up this way too, get more into it. And this is all the birds you can see here. Hi guys, welcome to day three of Lime Regis. We Ooh. are, oh. We're meeting one of mum's friends, but we are currently just at a coffee Hello. shop on the beach called Kiosk, which has these Hello. really cute deck chairs you can sit on. And I've got an iced oat oh. vanilla latte. Um, no, I think it's a latte, I actually think it was just an iced coffee. But it's very delicious, would recommend to a friend. You right, Ellen? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we've decided, so we've actually just been laying on the beach for a few hours. I am, I do have Factor 50 Plus on, so I'm hoping I don't get quite as sunburned as I did yesterday, but I definitely feel like I'm tanning. Um, oh, the web's gorgeous. We are now walking around the Jane Austen Gardens, which we kind of did last night, but they look much nicer during the day. Absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, having a wander around these. The seagulls are attacking, but we are at um, a restaurant called Red Panda, just over there. Uh, no, over there. Um, and we've got like it's like Asian street food so I've got like a tofu salad rice bowl yeah. looks delish but I'm terrified of the seagulls hey guys so we are on the beach again um, it is our last full day here in Lyme Regis today I haven't really I didn't show you anything yesterday because my um, cousins and auntie and uncle came to see us so I didn't want to vlog them because we haven't seen them in like a year over a year actually it was so nice to see them and we just got fish and chips from a place called herbie's i think it's called and sat sorry i'm squinting right at you and sat on the um pier pier on the boardwalk i don't know what you call what do you call this in the garden yeah, but what do you call this a board promenade a promenade and ate them um, and the seagulls didn't get us, which was nice. And now um, we've just basically, it's definitely like been the sunniest day, not the warmest, but sunniest day so far. So we've been lounging on the beach, mum's gone for a swim, very chilled. And now we're gonna um, go and get some fudge to take home with us. Esplanade? Esplanade. Esplanade promenade, isn't it? Don't know, mum. So we've just been for dinner and it was so good. We had crab linguine, mum had sea bass and um, I had a couple of drinks so didn't vlog because I was just having a nice time on the lawn. Oh, thanks, Ellen. Oh, it's all right, mum. <laughs> um, and I went for a walk up the pier but there's just these two, I forget what these horses are called. I used to know when I used to horse ride but there's the two most beautiful horses just galloping on the beach. And oh, is she gonna, where's she going? I don't know. Um, there's one woman riding one and they're like riding with the other, like holding the other. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, they're coming up onto the pavement. I'm going to try and get a picture for you because otherwise I've really milked this a lot. She just jumped off. They're absolutely beautiful. So I thought I need to get out on films. Oh, they've gone back in.
So I'm actually home now. I really, really hope you enjoyed that vlog. Um, I had the loveliest time in Lyme Regis and I would highly, highly recommend it as somewhere to visit if you're considering the Dorset Coast for a little holiday. Um, so that's it really. That's all I've got to say. If you enjoyed the video, please hit subscribe. Um, I make travel and fashion content here. Um, and I'd love to see you in my next one. So hit that subscribe button. I upload videos every Monday at six and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.